Good morning from Alton Towers. It's day two here at the park. It's we, cold. It's, it is it's cold. cold. Park. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, the gray skies. This is the UK welcome that we were promised when we came here. <laughs> Hell yeah. We've been getting beautiful weather up until now. But uh, hey, we just took the monorail hey. over. It was very Magic Kingdom-esque. Yesterday we walked, and so now uh, we got to see the park from above. That's going much over. more magical for my feet. We arrived like almost an hour before park opened, and now that we're here at the front entrance, they open in 15 minutes. So we're gonna go pre-queue for an attraction, and hopefully be one of the first people on before it gets crowded because it's a Saturday. Oh God. Long lines today. We're bypassing this line for Spinball Wizard because the guy comes out and because says, "It's going to be incredibly late opening day. Not just late, but incredibly late." <laughs> Not my deal. No. Not All right. So that answers that one. And is it raining now? I think it's I feel raindrops. Rain right. This is not good. Meanwhile, while they're sending test trains, the line for Oblivion stretches all the way to the Smiler's entrance. And while the Smiler still hasn't opened yet, that line stretches outside the entrance. So this is just a big convergence of two lines. Jeez, this park does struggle to get its attractions open on time. The sign says close, but the line says otherwise. We're moving. It's about 12 minutes past 10, and I think we're about to get on. Oblivion in the rain. It's still raining. Not ideal. I'm cold. It is cold. <laughs> it's very cold. Halfway through the line, I realized I'm like, wait a minute, where's the rest of the layout? They're like, that is the layout. Like, it's just a drop in the turn into the brakes. So yep. Like, what? I didn't know that. So, were you underwhelmed? I mean, the drop was cool, but had I not realized that before we got on the ride, I probably would have been like, what the heck? But I still kind of was like, what the heck was it? Yeah, it's I don't know. It's I over pretty fast. Coasters. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, there's a, there's definitely better dive coasters out there, but I for what this is, it's what? What? No, there are there are better dive coasters. Find me a dive coaster that has a better drop than a That's fair. So this right here is the on-ride photo camera facing Oblivion's first drop. And as you can see right now, it's raining. So what do you do when it's facing the sky? Well, it has a little windshield wiper to clean off the rain. I didn't know the smiler was for sale. Yes, I'll take one smiler, please. I would like it in my backyard. That would be 18 million Great British pounds. Oh, that's a lot of dollars. Consider it sold. It's actually pretty good. Right? Uh, right below the Smiler station, we're actually in the Fast Pass queue right now. They said the regular standby queue is a hundred minute wait right now, which is unbelievable. It is so busy. there on the Smiler. Actually, I think that's my only time I've ever ridden the back row. Because when I came in 2018, I think I only rode the front yeah. with you. So that was actually like pretty cool. It really wasn't bad at all. No, like, it wasn't. I was expecting it to be like way rougher. We did sit in middle seats. I don't know, how was the end seat? Fine. Fine? Yeah. The two rough parts are the second half of the cover roll coming yeah. out of that, and then the jolt into like the corkscrew that yeah. immediately follows. Yeah. Everything else is fine though. It's really not bad at all. Keep your head for it though. Yeah, but, definitely keep your head for it. You do have to keep your head, yeah. Yeah. Are you they, content they were, with your purchase? Yeah, I would say they were worried that I would get off the back row and be like, I don't like it anymore. But I, I'm still happy with my purchase. Still a front row though. Definitely a front row. Yes, yes. I'm glad I did the back, but uh, front is definitely the superior row. I have to give them like props though for this layout because we said yesterday that it doesn't really feel like you're just spending the whole time like flipping, flipping, flipping. I don't know, every part of it feels different. But like I think about Colossus where they're just like, all right, let's put like five inversions like at the end that are all the same, right? 
row and they don't do anything like that and yet it still like has 14 like that's yeah insane creativity right there it is yeah we were literally saying like what other manufacturer would even attempt something like this like it's literally like like Gerstler was crazy up to it I bet Intamin would have done it but like the capacity on this thing is amazing there's trains going every second it's it so feels fun like to watch. super cool right if you've ever wanted to golf at a theme park, you can at Alton Towers. So that little uh, hole right there on the middle of the island, if you uh, hit a golf ball from the land over there into it, then you get a thousand bucks. That's crazy. Yeah, you're really good at golf. I know. Yeah, whole trip here. Yeah, come to Alton Towers. That's just so wild to me that people are just like shooting golf balls in the middle of a theme park. And like every other freaking theme park in the UK, they have a pizza and pasta buffet. I mean, is that the worst thing? No, I just think it's really funny. We're walking past Wicker Man on our way to the mine train. Apparently there's a sea life here, and like, I had no idea. I want to go in. Oh, sea life. And it's free? Yeah. Alright, well, yeah, let's go. Let's see some animals. Fits the overall pirate theme that they have going on. There's a big octopus. I've never actually been in one of these before. You've never been in a sea life? No. Really? Look at them. They're so pretty. I love all the different Hi. colors. Door to Wicker Man. The feeding is so cool. I know, it just keeps on going. He's here for food. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Why? Why does he look like that? <laughs> Yeah, so um, this line is spilling out the entrance and like the full queue is open, so that's like a 40 minute wait, so no go. Okay, we're gonna go try Galactica again because I liked that ride a lot. 60 minutes for Subterra. That better go down. I wanna do that again. Oh, I really wanna do it again. Today is like really bad. This like, is this is busy. Fall, busy. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah, I know why uh, people tend to avoid parks on Saturdays during the summer. for Galactica stretches all the way back here. I didn't even know that the queue went back this far. It's like a hike through the forest. I know. And the app said 20 minutes, but... Uh, now it says 30. Now it says 30? Well, you said that you think it's longer than 30, though. So Definitely. they're they're underestimating the wait times, basically. At least for this, yeah. So we just got off Galactica back row again. Uh, want to do the front, but they're definitely very strict here with where you can sit. Uh, they won't even l allow you to reserve like a row, like like wait a train, you know, um, which is too bad. But it, back row is still great. Uh, I love the two little airtime pops that you get on, like one at the beginning of the ride, then one at the end. Uh, extremely graceful, not overly intense, but doesn't need to be. And so overall, I think it's just really well done, especially considering that it's not very tall. Like it just does what it does very well. I also love the views of Nemesis you get as you're going up the lift hill because you're facing down so you go directly over the brake run. Hey! hey. You got some coffee? coffee. I got this. Well, it's a refresher. A refresher? It's watermelon and mint. What do you think of Galactica? It's so good. I really like it. I don't know why. Because like I feel like it's a more basic layout than most flying coasters. But it works. I, like it. I, I think basic's the wrong word. What, what, the right word is well refined. Hmm. It, it knows, I'm sorry, it's well refined. It takes the idea of a flying coaster and implements it to make you feel like you're flying. <laughs> I mean, so what it's supposed to do. Exactly. We decided to get Mediterranean food over by Wicker Man. So, got some wraps, kind of like a, like gyros, euros, whatever. They're I don't good. know. They're, they're not bad. They're though. good. How's yours? What do you get? Beef? Yeah, Donna as well. Pretty solid. It's so crazy. We're just like hanging out in all the towers and we found some friends. How's everyone doing? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Thanks everyone for being here. We really appreciate it. We're all gonna go ride Wicker Man and it's gonna be awesome. I don't think we're all gonna find the same train, but it's gonna be a good time. We all just rode Wicker Man with like 
50 fans from across the UK, and that was just oh so God. cool. Thank you all who came out to ride with us. You guys like, are like the best human beings ever. Like, that was so fun. Everyone was, was so, so nice, so hospitable, give us, showing us some English love here yes. in the UK. So um, much fun riding with you guys. Yeah, so, uh, so let's talk about the ride. Uh, yes. We had a really good time on that thing. Uh, yes. we, we sat in the back, and it was running faster than yesterday. Yes, some people were really nice and were like, you two take the, the back row. So we sat with somebody else and, mm -hmm. and rode in the back two rows, and it was like miles better than when I was thinking in the middle. Like, why is it such a big difference? Man is a back row coaster exclusively. Really good laterals. Uh, I really like the, the little airtime pops, especially there towards the center when you get around like uh, the big, big statue of Bob. Yeah, there's no dead spots here at all in Tyrus. Everything is just good quality. It is. Yes. 100%. Yeah, I kind of like that though, because like there's a lot of parks out there that are all about just like numbers. Like how yeah, they have some duds, and yeah. there's no duds here. Yeah, they're like, we're just going to have exactly what we need, no more, no less. Everything's going to be good. Although more would be cool. So apparently we're walking to a theme park ride. Where are we going? The <laughs> theme. The back way. Where? Where are we? These are the views you get in line for 13. Where is it? It's a literal forest. It's literally <laughs> nowhere you can see this roller coaster until you're on. Yeah. So weird. There we are. In the station for 13. This has been less than a 20 minute wait despite it being listed at 40. So we've reached that point in the day where they're starting to over exaggerate the queues. It's okay, it's a nice surprise when you're expecting 40 and you get 12. Correct. <laughs> Man, with all these Rita views, you'd think that we were just in line for Rita, or that we just got off Rita, but no, that's 13, because the entrance and exit just absolutely surrounds this other ride. Well, I'm all by myself now. I lost everyone. Uh, I turned around and everyone was gone, so now it's just me. Anyways, 13 was fun. In my opinion, you pretty much just ride that ride for the ending. Like, everything before you hit the, uh, spoiler alert, drop track is, like, whatever. Especially if the trim drops, like, ugh. But, the drop track is really good, and then the backwards portion afterwards is also like really fun, really strong ending. So overall, it's an enjoyable coaster. Uh, I'm glad we didn't wait 40 minutes for it. I think that like 20 or you know 15 was perfect. I also have no service here, and so I tried texting, calling everyone to see where they are. The problem is I don't even know what attraction we are supposed to go to next. So. I'm just kind of wandering around. We had talked about doing the mine train because we didn't do it earlier because I had like a 40 minute line. So I'm gonna head over there because that might be where they went. The gardens are so pretty. I'd love to explore them with someone. If I had someone, this is not the park you want to lose someone in. Like what do parents do when they can't find their kids? Like, oh my gosh, this place is huge. They could be anywhere. Have you seen Harry or Sarah? That's okay, take your time. I don't see him. Crap. What do I do now? Well, screw this. I'm gonna go ride. Friends! I found you! Yay! We're reunited! Because we saved you a rope. Aww. So kind. Are we gonna have time to do anything after this? We're gonna do Subterra. Subterra? Okay. Runaway Mine Train is not really a mine train, but it's a really good power coaster. I think it's really fun. I love that you go past the rapids like inside like that. that was yeah, cool. a little indoor section and Lats, though. La good laterals. I'm pretty sure we both injured each other because we were like thrashing around. Yeah. It's great. Also, the clearance. The lack of a clearance envelope. <laughs> There's one turn that you go through and it's like really, really close to a support. Yeah, like if you hit your hands like <laughs> Oh yeah, oh you'd 100% hit yeah, it, easily. That's one that when it tells you to keep your arms in, like, do it. On this one, they're serious. Here we go. Last attraction of the day. Listed at 30 minutes? Definitely not 30 minutes, though. All right, you guys know the drill. Same as last time, camera's gotta go away. See you later. No spoilers. Okay, spoilers! Spoilers, it was awesome, it's so good. Uh, it is a cool ride, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. So, now that we knew what to expect this time, I think we were, you know, a little bit more laid back. We were, like, watching, because we knew what to expect, so we are like, watching how each of the different, like, sequences happen, you know, like, how they set everything up, and yeah. it's just, like, it's really really well done. The acting, the sense of urgency, like as soon as the whole drop sequence ends and like the restraints lift, the actors come out and they're like in a like, gas mask and they're like, go, go, go! Like, 
Yo, you need to get out of here and like. I miss when they had that energy over at like Rise of the Resistance back when it first opened, and they were like, "This is a breakout message. Go, go, go!" Yeah. Like, and now they're like, "We're here with the Resistance. We're here to save you. Please stay back." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, overall like so well done. And we were also like like walking in, we were like examining the seats. We're like, "Oh, there's where like pokes you on the back." And like, <laughs> here's the thing for the legs. Yeah, yeah the things for your legs kind of yeah, hurt. Yeah, they do, don't they? They're I was like, ow, 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 ow. I, was like, I think that's the point. It's like you know, it's like an alien has broken out. Um, well, then he's very yeah. aggressive. We were watching also to see how the egg switched from like being full to like being cracked up. You said, yeah, that's it, it kind of wobbled as the lights came back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're basically like running to get out of there, and then as soon as you exit and step out into the light, it's like the baggage pick up, and they're like, fun. they're like, how was that? Can we get your bags for you? <laughs> I'm like, whoa, hold up. <laughs> I was saying that they should take this type of attraction and make it work for like Stranger Things. That'd be so good. Like you put a Demogorgon in the middle. Yeah. Oh my like, gosh. Yeah, like, like have it be and like restrained. You're at the like uh, facility from yeah. the different seasons and everything. And it's yeah, all kind of similar, so it, it, really it does have a lot in common with Stranger Things. Maybe yeah. that's where Stranger Things came from. They, yeah, they came they, here. They came to Alton oh, Towers. Yeah, so well, like, holy crap, I did. <laughs> mm, yeah. Well done. So uh, now, instead of just going all the way back to Main Street and exiting that way where we have to walk all the way around or wait for a monorail, we can just exit here near Galactica. Like, Yay. it's open to just walk the rest of the way. So, I wish we could ride it again. Yeah, but I'm glad we got on earlier today. Me so, too. could be worse. Considering the lines, the line could, definitely could have been worse. Today. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, we got on Galactica 13, the Mine Train, Smiler, we did twice actually. Oblivion. Oblivion. Oh, yeah. Wicker so, Man. Wicker Man, obviously, yeah. So, Good day. Really, really successful day. I, I'm thrilled with how everything came about. Do you feel content with your experience at All in Towers? I do. I, I wish I could have a little more time. But like I Which is ironic because we have the most time here out of any park on but this it's trip. So big. Like I would love to take some time to like explore the gardens yeah. and have a picnic there. Like me being me. And, you know, I, it'd be cool to do the spinner because we, we kind of skipped over it's that. True, that's one we did not do. Um, you did Dragon's would, Fury though. That's, that, that's better. That is yeah. the best one. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I wouldn't mind doing other re rides. Like, I could have ridden the Smiler again, honestly. And, uh, Was that your favorite here? I think so, yeah. It's really good, good choice. Which is really funny because I'm like always like, hey, Gerslauer, but like, yeah, Gerslauer. <laughs> yeah, they did something well. That was really yeah. good. Oh, well done. Oh, well, they did You, you offended well. him. Yeah, I know. And as we're walking out, we wave goodbye to the different pieces of Nemesis truck that are still sitting there from yesterday. Hopefully next time we see Nemesis, it'll actually be operating, you know? Uh, I think it will. Be. <laughs> it better be, I know, yeah, that'd be really sad if it wasn't. Yo, getting out of here sucks. We're like, completely stuck. There's only one lane, not, and everyone here is trying to get out. It's not usually this bad, I think. We got out relatively quickly after the park closed, and it's a weekend. We made it back to our hotel room, and for dinner, we ordered Chinese takeout. Heck yeah. How's your plate? It's good. We actually ended up having quite a big merchandise haul from Alton Towers. So this is the shirt I got. Uh, I think I showed you guys this yesterday in the video, but yeah, the whole Wicker Man thing. I got some, uh, oh, that fell. Hopefully that didn't break. <laughs> and uh, some Smiler socks, and then uh, of course the hoodie that Sarah was wearing this morning. So lots of Smiler stuff. So as you can see, not a super exciting ending to this video. I don't know, something about going to theme parks all day, you just like, want to just like lounge out and just take it easy, you know? Which is funny because like that was here even that long. We've done worse. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but I yeah. don't know, it's just so Well, Alton Towers was open an extra hour today compared to yesterday. It is a draining park. It, it is. is. So is much walking. Everything's so far apart. Yeah. Honestly, though, we used that last hour to our advantage. We got a lot done in that it's amount of time. Well, so, yeah, like take advantage of like the beginning of the day and the end of the day. Because, um, yeah, the middle of the day was just like crazy lines. Also, probably don't go on a Saturday if you can avoid it. <laughs> we couldn't avoid it. But if you can, I imagine that would be yeah. better. <laughs> so, tomorrow is our last park with Harry. Uh, but it's gonna be an exciting one, I know. We're gonna miss him, is but- Is it gonna be an exciting one? Well, it's gonna be exciting because we're gonna get absolutely wrecked on Valhalla. I'm not sure you two re actually realize how wet you're gonna get. No, not at all. Genuinely. Do you have sandals? You need to have no. sandals. No, I have. Like you thought, Stormforce was bad. 
I'm I don't I'm kind of nervous. I haven't seen oh, a POV. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna you go. You should get plastic bags and tie them around your feet before you go. I was told that we, it is a smart investment to get a poncho. Yes. So you like can buy them there. I think that that actually will be a move. <laughs> wow. That, I'll bring a spare change of socks in my backpack. Good idea. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, I had a great time. I'm sure you guys did too. But we're going to go ahead and pass out. We got to be up early tomorrow. It's like an hour and a half, hour 40 or so drive. Oh, you're just like going to bed right now. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. And we'll see you at Blackpool Pleasure Beach.